This video will demonstrate the use of Sledgehammer by CPR Tools. Sledgehammer is an add-on for the hammers, connects directly to the hammers, and can conduct eradication on eight drives at a time. You can daisy chain four sledgehammers to one hammer, so you can perform eradication on a total of 32 drives. It does keep a running audit trail for you that can be downloaded onto a PC or laptop just like the hammer, so you can print out certificates of destruction. And in our demo, we're going to have one sledgehammer with four drives. First thing we do is connect all the hard drives that we want to eradicate and then turn on the sledgehammer. Once we turn on the sledgehammer, we're going to go over to our hammer, which is connected via the PETA cable. We're going to power that on. It's going to go out and find all the sledgehammers that are connected. And it's going to display each one that's connected. Here on the A side, you'll see that we have one sledgehammer connected, and when it scans the B side, we have none, which is absolutely correct. Several LEDs that we have on the sledgehammer, uh, flashing yellow indicates that it's eradicating, green indicates power, red indicates an error, and blue indicates that it's hot swappable, that particular port, and solid yellow means that it's completed. Here you see that we have our four drives running, they have all have power, and the flashing yellow light indicates that they are eradicating data right now. If we take a look at the hammer display, we can see that we have four active drives. We have zero that are done. If we scroll over, we can see sledgehammer A with the asterisk is the one that we have connected, and then B1 and 2 are not connected, and either is A2. If we go one more scroll over, we can actually look at the drives that are on the ports of that particular sledgehammer. Here you can see 5 is erasing, 6 is erasing. Those are the sectors that are flying by, 7 and 8. And again, if we look at our lights, we can see that they're all flashing. Soon here you're going to notice that the port second from the left will stop flashing and become solid and what that indicates is that the port the drive is done and there it happened and the power goes off automatically so we don't waste power the speed of the site or I'm sorry the speed of the sledgehammers depends on the drive uh, we've seen 12 gigabytes a minute and up here we show the ports that are available for hot swapping by simply pressing the down arrow the down key when that happens, the blue LEDs will illuminate on the sledgehammer. There's the blue LEDs telling us that they're ready. So we can hot swap that. We can pull that drive off and put another drive in its place or put new drives on. Once you unplug the old drive, put the new drive in and simply hit start. It's very simple, very easy to do. Here now you can see that we have two drives that are done. If we scroll back down through, we can see five still running, six is completed, seven is still running, and eight is completed as well, but it has errors, and we notice the red light. The red LED on that particular port. Fast forward 14 minutes, and everything's done. take a look at our sledgehammer lights and we'll see that everything's completed and the far right port is completed but with an error that's what the red LED indicates that sledgehammer by CPR tools you can download the complete user guide at cprtools.net slash downloads simply click on the sledgehammer user guide